Los Angeles, California has the most Mexicans outside Mexico City. And they bring with them the culture, tradition, and of course, tacos. I'm here in Compton to meet with Kid Garrett, an American taquero that was born and raised in this area. I want to find out why he decided to open a taco truck in one of the most competitive scene in the country. Sin, S A I N E. Since. <laughs> in my English, man. A oh, trip. Teamwork. We got it. We gonna get it together. Okay, okay. How does it feel? How does it feel to be a black man, black man on the taco scene? How does it feel to be a black man in the taco scene in Los Angeles? Wow. Easy. <laughs> so I got you, my boy. <laughs> This is like one of our number one dishes. The shrimp That's is always really the first one to sell out every day. Shrimp is already fairly salty. Uh -huh. So you don't need a lot of salt. Then you come with some granulated garlic. Gotta go with your smoked ground paprika for color. For color, yes. yes. What is that, honey? Don't tell nobody. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kidnap you. You gotta no, stay I was, with me. I was asking you, what is that, honey? <laughs> 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 That's my boy Paco! <laughs> Here in your community, uh, are there a lot of Latinos? Yes. And how they receive you at first? Like you are making tacos, you know, like you are not Mexican. I'm supposed to be selling fried chicken and shit, fried shrimp, stuff like that. So when they see a taco or a quesadilla or a burrito coming from me, they like, what? Right! That's the only question, like, you got what? It's just me as a person. They like, I mess with you, Sammy. You a good guy. You a big guy too. So I know you eating good. You got tacos. Let's try them. For me? Un poco de pollo, un poco de res, y un poco de camarón. That's what I call a campechano. The mix of the three meats. Se pone cilantro, cebolla, un poco de crema y la salsa que hace de cilantro que está buenísima, no pica nada. Buenísimo. Está bien condimentado todo. Riquísimo. I love the taco game. Taco días that got bomb food, traditional Mexican food, bomb. I had to think like, what's going to set my taco aside from this one? I'm like, I'm gonna prepare them the same way that my mom make them. You know, not the traditional way, onion, cilantro, salsa verde. I'm like, no, lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, sour cream, ketchup, hot sauce. The way your mama made it. I call it Americanized Mexican food. I was raising my sister's five children uh -huh. that I adopted and my two sons. So you had to make ends meet. And so I try to think of something quick to do. I didn't think of it as a recipe. Was ever in the kitchen, that's what we used. And to make sure that it went far, you could make zillions of tacos and everybody likes them. You have a good son. I do. Congratulations. And I'm not bragging about that because he still keeps me on my knees praying. <laughs> <laughs> if you know Keith, he's a people person. Uh -huh. He can get out there in that front yard. He doesn't even live over here anymore. The whole yard is full of people. I said, what is going on? He said, Mom, I didn't invite anybody over. <laughs> you know, he pulls up and everybody else pulls up. And it's always been like that. I know Flavor No Grease began here in your mama house. Yes, sir, right in her kitchen. And then once she seen that I was making too many tacos, she was like, okay, um, time for you to go towards the front yard now. <laughs> Please. Is it almost there? Yeah, boy. I see it. <laughs> the drizzle. It's all in the wrist. <laughs> Your community support you? The community loves it. They respect the transition. Pues mira, ahorita estamos aquí afuera de los dos de la casa de aquí. Aquí tienen los dos camiones. La gente ya sabe, se estaciona, se come su taquito y todos felices. To see someone happy. And when I was able to do that through food, I don't know, that was just the whole thrill for me. It's not peaches and cream all the time, especially being right here in the heart of the hood. Like, this is the heart of the ghetto in Los Angeles. I'm glad you <laughs> showed me a way out. Woo. I thought it was a fumble. 
He picked it up. He recovered. And he what? You roll it. Touchdown! <laughs> Ahora me encuentro en South Central LA y vengo a probar aquí Taco Mel, que es otro de estos restaurantes o estas taquerías que son parte de esta nueva escena que está creciendo y que está agarrando importancia aquí en Los Ángeles. These guys, they get a little crazy sometimes, but I love it. <laughs> Bro, I went to school with this guy, Randy. Hi, Randy. Yeah. Hi, Randy. This is my guy, this is my guy, Rafa. This is my guy, Tyree. Tyree. Yeah. This my guy, Malik's on the register. He sings, uh, he's been, he just been a little shy. Can you can you sing for the camera? Man, give him a bar. Can I get a green <laughs> And how you start Mel Tacos? You start like selling in the street? You yeah, start taco selling? cart. Uh -huh. You had a small taco grill that you usually see on the corner in LA. You know? In which neighborhood? Compton. Okay. Yeah, that's where I grew up at. I actually had to put my pride to the side because, like, you're a black taco man, like, you weird, you know? Like, that's how people would look at you, you know? Like, people was laughing at me when I first started. It's my mindset, I want to say, like, that got me in the restaurant business. You know, I started from the taco cart and was able to raise and save my money to get my own restaurant. Hey, like, I would tell my guys that, what I tell everybody, keep going. Like, even if you're having a problem, just keep going. That's That's my advice, just keep going. You having a bad day, keep going. It's hot in the kitchen. <laughs> you gotta put some oil in there, man. They, they like the shells crispy here. Okay. That takes a little extra oil. Wanna try it? Yes, of course. <laughs> I wanna try it all, man. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't let people eat in the kitchen, but you good, you're my guy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tienen los nachos con queso, una salsa de chipotle que está muy buena, cremosa, ya picantona. Jalapeños, aceituna y cebollín. Están chidos. Hey, nice to meet you. Paco, nice to meet you, Matt. Why you choose this spot? It's like a black home business in general that I want to like to support. It's kind of like a cool melting pot. Like you can kind of get like Mexican food made by black people. And the know, flavor, like you like it. Yeah, it's like a blend of culture and it's kind of familiar. Estoy en Highland Park donde me voy a encontrar con Javier Cabral, el mero mero experto de los tacos en Los Ángeles, California, que le voy a preguntar y me va a contar de esta nueva escena que estamos cubriendo. Can you tell me a little bit about the influence of Mexico in LA? It's important to always remember that California used to be a part of Mexico, you know? Y por eso, you see all the street names, you know, a lot of them are in Espanol. Mexicans have been here since uh, 1800s, and, you know, a lot of us never really went away. Mi familia, se, they came here in the 1960s. That generation of Mexicans came here looking for a better life, you know, for more work. And then, you know, they had families, and now you're seeing a lot of, like, those descendants, those children open up taquerias now. Because of that kind of strong network of immigrants, yes. tacos is the official food of LA. You can be driving and like, you'll see like a new taquero on that corner, and like, wait a minute, you weren't there yesterday. And then you keep on driving, you see another one on that corner. A lot of these are like small mom and pop family operations, you know, there's not like a corporation behind it, you know, you're supporting someone's hustle. And in LA, we, we like to uh, support people's hustles. So why not support taqueros uh, that are from Compton? and are doing their own thing. There are some people who say, oh, it's not authentic Mexican food, or it's not it's an authentic taco. But that's kind of the point, right? That the taco evolves and the taco goes to evolution, just like, like you and I. Cheers. Cheers. Forever tacos. Forever tacos. Forever tacos. <laughs> you really have to make it a point to get out of your neighborhood to try new tacos. Because it's easy to get stuck in your neighborhood where you live in your area and not go out. But then you don't appreciate what LA has to offer. A ver, pues a probar. Pues sí, son, 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 para mí son tacos muy ricos de tacos dorados. Okay. So like, where else in the world, outside of Mexico, you know, where you can have Andritos de Estilo Jalisco and then like, go to two, another place. two minutes away and then have like Nayarit style tacos al vapor. Y entonces ahorita vamos a Ahorita vamos a tacos los cachetones. 
El machete de ese güey se escucha. ¡89! ¡Presente! Ok, ahí se ve el asado. Ahí está. ¿Alguna vez has contado más o menos como cuántas te querías ahí en...? No, nah, es imposible. Es imposible. Aunque we can try, pero... This is Taco City USA, no sé. <risa> 